welcome. Um, I'm not an expert on things like evolution and stuff like that. I have um, my own personal views. I'm not a believer in evolution. I do have respect, though, for what science has done, and I have great respect for people like Charles Darwin. Apart from their beliefs in the theory of evolution, they have done some wonderful discoveries in the laws of nature and such. One thing that I would like to ask, though, is about <laughs> when scientists claim that they have found all these different primate species over the decades and they found out how old they are and such, that they're always trying to believe that they have found the missing link. It's hard work and I can understand sometimes why they're trying to find a clue to man. But if the theory is true that whenever they find these creatures and where they find them, has some scientists ever tried to wonder that they're finding them in wasteland deserts? And when you look in books about the existence of these form of primates and in museums and such, they put these creatures back in the position of what that place was like when they were living there, a lush green vegetated forest. And when they're found, there is nothing there except desert and wasteland. What I'm trying to conclude is that where scientists might have made one mistake is that these creatures could have died as the result of what you call natural catastrophe in nature and disaster. We have to understand that creatures like primates do not breed like humans. They do not breed on a nine month cycle. Sometimes with them it's every three to four years, perhaps even five. Now that's a long time to produce one offspring. And in an area where there is a natural disaster happening, these creatures will have trouble breeding and especially with things like food shortages of keeping their children alive. It's a heartbreaking story when you think about it, if it happened on that level. If you look at normal famines all over the world, when you see people starving, they can still produce a child up to every nine months, whereas a primate cannot do that. It's impossible for this creature. And I think if they were to try and understand the area they were living at the time and what it was like, they might have found the answer as to what actually happened to these creatures, because in truth, there is possibly a reality to this question, that what happened was the death of their vegetation, the land they lived in, they could not sustain the life they, a, a normal primate would live. If you were to look at creatures like gorillas and monkeys and orangutans, where they live, they live in an area of vegetation full of fruits, vegetables and other things. They don't live in areas where you find dead gorillas. You don't find them in wastelands or places like that. With these creatures, they might have been just different forms of primates who, as a result of this catastrophe, tragically died. I don't challenge evolution. I don't believe in it. I'd, it's just a personal theory of mine. That when scientists look for their missing link, though, if they could ever try and come up with a theory that this could have been the reality of this issue, and that all the things they were just finding were dead apes, and that's all.